conduct warning there. but apparently it was a time violation. 25 seconds between points and it's being strictly imposed this year on the ATP Tour. Oh. Well, here's the running Sampras forehand which is strictly out of this world. Just an incredible shot. For a moment, as if Agassi was going to boil over. But uh, he's kept control, just about enough at least to take a lead of 4 3, final set. I should perhaps explain to you about the code violation. The world governing body, the International Tennis Federation, have reduced to 20 seconds the limit of time players allowed between points. But on the ATP Tour, they say they're running their tour their way and they're sticking to 25 seconds between points because the players insisted on it but the understanding was that that 25 second limit would be rigorously enforced and I think that was uh, one of those occasions where it was rigorously enforced anyway Agassi 4-3 final set having come back from a set down now that's what I was looking to see from Sampras Going back to the uh, time violation, I think Agassi was uh, claiming that the crowd behind him were hurling him up, and I think that uh, was valid, actually. I mean, you can't stick to 25 seconds if the crowd are making a clamour. Oh. Sampras, I have a feeling, has decided... Uh, that it's time to stop being quite so deferential and have a go back at him. Certainly given the ball a pretty meaty wallop on the last couple of points. They're still so finely balanced. Sampras ups the tempo a little bit, and that destroys Agassi, Agassi just that little bit. Oh. Almost a battle of minds now, as well as shots.
He's just pressing a little bit too much. Got a bit too fast, I think, in the last game. Code violation. Going for too big a shot too soon. Lost just that sublime feel. Four games all, final set. Well, now a drop serve would be crucial at this stage. Whoever served first in a set has won it so far. Sampras the first set, Agassi the second. Agassi served first in this set. That's the one shot that Sampras has not played very well in this match. Not in the latter stages anyway, the wide slice backhand. It's so hard. I think it took a deflection off the uh, lady's head, didn't it? Solid serving again in this game. He's only dropped one service game in the match, Agassi. His first one of the first set. Agassi 5-4, now it's getting very tight. Particularly for the defending champion. He's gonna have to come out and serve 4-5 down. Well, I suppose for the good of this uh, rivalry, uh, we'd say we need Agassi to win, because he lost the last one. Their personal scores against each other overall is that Sampras has beaten Agassi eight times. Agassi's won against Sampras on six times. Uh, the Australian Open final, Agassi beat Sampras. Final at Indian Wells just a couple of weeks ago, Sampras beat Agassi. Well, in the context of the whole year, I think you want Sampras to win because you need Sampras to build up a bit of a lead because Sampras is almost undoubtedly going to drop a lot of points. It's a very confused uh, arrangement, the uh, winning and dropping of points. But Sampras last year won so much early that he then has to defend those points um, this year. And if he doesn't do well in those tournaments, he drops the points he won last year. And Agassi automatically, without any effort from him, goes shooting up. Should say that whatever happens in this match, Sampras w is guaranteed now of remaining the number one ranked player in the world for the hundredth overall week, not consecutive week, overall week. In fact, 81 consecutive weeks. And at 23 years of age and only seven months, he, Sampras is the youngest player to be number one for 100 weeks. Only Lendl. 270 weeks, Connors 268 weeks, McEnroe 170, and Borg 109 weeks have been number one longer than Sampras. He's got to serve well now, my word he has.
Well, that must be instructive for uh, beginners watching, uh, watching this match. Because here is a ball sitting up high, as close as you like to the net. And it's still dumped in the net. They could just pushed it down the line. This is easier said than done. Everything looks easy, doesn't it, when you're watching it. But you've only got to come over it a bit too much. How you nerves for a third set tiebreak. Well, the crowd have had their money's worth already. And they're going to get it every time these two step on court against each other. First point. That was the killer there for Agassi. Public park volley it needed, that's all it did. Five games all, final set. I've seen John McEnroe miss uh, those high volleys. Well, that wasn't a volley, but uh, high balls just very close to the net. The master volleyer himself. They are not as easy as they look. You've still got to concentrate. But he's wishing he did a lob over the backhand corner. Because Agassi was camped on the net. That's good serving. Agassi 6-5, final set. 